All right, guys, so today's video is on a pair of truly wireless earbuds that really surprised me. And that pair is the Phil T1X. Now, the first thing that surprised me was the price. I had tried their over-the-ear headphones before, and they were really expensive. So the fact that these retail for $80, but right now can be picked up on Amazon for 50 bucks completely caught me off guard. But let's check out some of the features and what you get inside the box. Now, first thing is these do have Bluetooth 5.0 and I had no issue when it came to drop connections. I had no issue with lag with watching videos and they also have aptX, AAC and SBC playback. So I was completely surprised that I was able to get that out of a pair that I was able to pick up for $50. Now, as far as the IP rating, it is IPX5, which means for rain, splash or heavy sweating, you're fine. Just make sure you don't drop these into water. Now, as far as what you get inside the box, you get small, medium, large, and extra large silicone ear tips. So even you guys out there that have a larger opening in your ear canal should have no issue finding a good seal with these. And with any truly wireless earbud, that's one of the most important things. Now, as far as the charging cable, it is USB-C, and the battery life is also really impressive. On the earbuds individually, you're getting around six hours of use, where with the case, you're gonna get around 24 hours total. But if you do happen to pick them up, these also have a fast charge feature where a 10 minute charge is gonna get you around two hours of use. And if you wanna just go ahead and fully charge these, it only takes 40 minutes. Now the case itself has the USB-C input on the back. You can see Phil's logo right there on the top. And then you see two indicator lights on the front. Now, when you open the lid, you can see the earbuds inside, but then you also see icons next to them to let you know which controls belong to which earbud. Now, these are touch control. Now, I'm happy to say that it controls everything. So you have track control, volume controls, smart assistant, everything's in the earbud itself. But the way that they have the controls laid out is completely different than some of the other earbuds that I've tried. So it took a little while of getting used to. Even in the manual, just the diagram kind of looked like a, a layout or a play on a football field. So it's just one of those that takes a little bit of getting used to, but it is something that you can get used to. Now the real big thing about these that makes these great is the isolation. Even though they're not labeled as having like active noise cancellation, as soon as you put these in your ear, you can immediately tell that your surroundings are kind of just fading out. So you can listen to these even at lower volumes and be able to enjoy it without having to blast these to tune everything out. So that part was extremely impressive. Now, as far as you guys that like to use either the left or right individually, you will be happy to know that you can use either. And then as far as your mic quality, it has DSP noise canceling technology, which basically is having the microphone focus in on your voice, but also trying to tune out your surroundings where people can hear you clearly but you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. All right guys, so here is a mic test using the Phil T1X. I think it has a very natural pickup, and this is what it would sound like if you took a call in a quiet place. Where now I'm playing a crowd noise in the speakers in the background so that you'd get an idea of what it would sound like if you took a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. The sound on these are fantastic. There's actually supposed to be an app that works with these so that you can mess with different EQ settings, but I wasn't able to get that to work. Um, I downloaded the app, but I never saw this pair of earbuds listed. So, you know, it may work for some, but it didn't work for me. But to be honest, that didn't matter. The sound out of these right out of the box was exactly what I like. The bass was definitely tight and impactful so you could feel it, but it didn't have that low resonating rumble. So if you're a bass head, you might want a little bit more out of that. You're able to feel bass. It's definitely hitting hard. It just has a much cleaner sound. Same thing with the treble. The treble is very clean and detailed, but it's not close to being bright or harsh or just being too much. It's just clean and has a natural fit in with the bass. The same can be said with the mids. The mids are forward enough, but they're not too forward where it feels like it's too much in your face. So clean guitar strums on acoustic guitars, thick, crunchy guitar riffs on metal and stuff like that come through perfectly. 
And usually you don't get that, if, especially with me, when you listen to genres that have a lot going on, it usually starts to get lost and these were able to always keep the identity of what you're listening to. So as far as your sound stage and sound imaging, it felt like you were in like a medium to large size room. You never had issues with telling where drums or guitars or vocals were coming from. And so overall, it was just great to listen to no matter what I was listening to. Now, as far as my cons go, I definitely wish they had done the controls differently. Not that I wanted them to change the touch control, I just would like them to change how it's laid out. And then another thing that I didn't like was on the box, it advertises these working with an app, but I was never able to get it to work. So the conclusion on these is I would highly recommend them at $80, and I think the fact that you can pick them up at $50 makes them a no-brainer. And this would be an excellent, excellent gift during the holidays, but this is a pair that I would use myself as an everyday Truly Wireless earbud. It's from a company I have listened to before. I don't have a whole lot of experience with them, so I kind of went into this expecting something expensive and maybe not getting as much out of, and then I got the opposite. So. I was completely happy with these and I think most people would be too. But guys, that's my review on the Phil T1X. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.